this is an exciting day. It's the start of 2024 and we have a car on the list to start this year that is a very special one and you guys will all be really excited to see this take place just like we will be. Yeah, the 57. <laughs> I think she wants me to talk. I do. <laughs> <laughs> we got a couple flat tires. There's no steering on the car. We're gonna need to air some tires up, maybe replace one of them and put some steering stuff on it so that we can drag it in the shop. So freaking stoked to get this car in the shop. Y'all are coming along with. It has no steering components. Well, None. it has a steering wheel. It has a steering wheel and that's it. I ran up to Summit a couple days ago. I got a power steering gearbox because we're going to want one anyways when we get it running. And I got all of the steering stuff. So the drag link that goes across, all that. Uh, did it have oil in it? Did yeah. you just check the oil? Yeah, it has lots in it. Wow. And water? Yeah, there's probably water in and the oil. And some sand? Yeah. Maybe. Yummy. Here's our new box. And luckily it came with bolts. So she'll be able to just throw those on the frame there. That'll take care of that portion. I got a new rag joint. So we'll slide that old piece off. Slide this on. This will connect to our steering box. And this is all the stuff that connects the front tires together. Should be all the pieces we need. That go on there. That goes somewhere. <laughs> that goes somewhere. So does that. Oh, that was loose. <laughs> That's convenient. Yeah. Wasn't rusted on. <laughs> it was kind of mangled looking, so I was worried about it. Your hammer is not working very well. No, wrong size, I think. <laughs> Let's go get you a Jimmy bar for a better hammer. It's moved. It's coming off. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, the Fury will have its time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> of course, I gotta put Allen's in it, which I didn't bring out here. I need to get some Allen's. I'll be right back. Okay. I went up to the sky thinking that was going to be one of those cool transitions to uh, the steering box being on, but it wasn't because the steering box shaft didn't fit into the little coupler that he had just gotten on to the um, steering wheel rod shaft thing. So here he is filing parts. Uh, can anybody else relate to this or does stuff just always bolt together for y'all just perfectly? Yep, here we are. <laughs> Just like the old days, doing it by hand. <laughs> oh, is this a, what kind of joke was that? That wasn't a joke at all.
we have blue skies now because it's a new day. Yesterday we had to throw the towel in because it began to storm so bad that there was lightning and it's not advised to work in the lightning. So we wanted to keep working even though it was raining, but we decided that might not be the smartest move. So it's the next day and we have a beautiful sunny day. It's quite squishy out here. Are we gonna rut up the yard really bad with the tractor? Oh, for sure, yeah. But next week, it's going to be down in the single digits, so we need to get it in if we want to work on it. So that's the plan. Yep. Okay. So you got your steering box all ready and that coupler all Yeah, I think it's ready. I was going to put the Pitman arm on the bottom. I think that's what you call it. But I don't know which direction it goes. So we're going to put the box in, then we'll get that piece on. Then try to get this up in the air. That's going to be a challenge because the ground's so soft. Jacks and jack stands are going to want to just sink. But we got to do it, so we'll figure it out. surrounded by kittens. <laughs> oh my gosh. He's like, okay. And we have the steering box in place. Ooh, ready. The ground's pretty mushy out here, so we're going to try to make our footprint a little bit bigger for this jack. Rat. Swish tracks. We'll get this thing up in the air. See if we can figure out how to put all the steering stuff on, and then we'll address the tires after that. Because we got more than one that's flat. You give me that big crescent wrench. Sure. Thank you. You're welcome. We have steering. Look at that. Time to go to the races. It's not a yeah. race car, but you know. <laughs> So I say now we put some air in the tires, see which ones are going to come up, which ones aren't, and go from there. We got sunshine, so. Oh my god. <laughs> Finley? Come on, Finley. Hey, Finley. We have crazy cats now. Now that we have one litter, it's like all these male cats are everywhere. Yay. I think it's now time to check and see if these tires will even hold air. We have uh, doubts in our mind about this. <laughs> now that one over there especially is <laughs> young. But if we can get them to hold for a little while. Let's get it in the shop. Yeah. 
So this is not wanting to take air. I don't know if my pump's doing something funny. I do hear a leak. I hear it hissing. Right there. And it's out of air again. <laughs> so I'm gonna go get the other pump and we'll air it up. Figure out what that is. We'll plug this one. We got a new plug kit we want to try out. And then that one over there, I think we're just gonna have to replace it. And I, I measured the bolt patterns the same for the RV. So we may just steal that tire, put it over there. The back ones have some air in them. So I know that whenever I put air pressure to them, you know, they'll, they'll go up enough to get it in the shop. But this one's like, the air's already out of it. And I've been puffing on it for 10 minutes. So get that little leak fixed and then we'll get her in the shop. <laughs> okay. There you go. Found her. Let's fix it. Let's fix it. I grabbed this out of the vet. We got this um, a few weeks ago when we were road tripping in the Corvette. Grabbed it up at O'Reilly and this is Slime's new product and it's pretty cool. We're excited to try it. I grabbed a drill and it's just two steps. So ream it, drill it, pop that little plug in it. Pretty cool. Hopefully then it'll hold air. I bet it will. Uh, poor little tire. It may be that it's leaking on the rim as well. Because this pump should pump it up and it should hold longer. That hole's not the one letting all the air out. So get that plugged, run this for a bit. If it doesn't, I've got an air tank in the shop. We'll put a lot of air in at once and that should reseal it. Oh, there's a QR code for instructions. That's cool. Watch the video so he got the run down. Puppy's in there. Mm -hmm. Cool. Nice. Oh, let's see if he'll take care. <laughs> Looks like that worked. It's crazy, like one little blip of the throttle with this thing and the lug nut is off. We found a Black Widow on the other side of this tire. So I have great hesitation to just grab it. <laughs> Need the hammer.
Yeah, these two studs right here aren't lining up. Dang it. <laughs> mm. Ready? Sure. We stole this tire off of our Liberator trailer over there. If anybody wants a Liberator race boat. Is it a race boat or does it just yeah. look like a race boat? A little outboard Liberator boat. Come get it. Come pick it up. It's missing a tire off the trailer, so bring your own tire. <laughs> it's a free boat. Come get it. Anyway, you do this. Um, it's making me make cuss words come out of my mouth. Did you get it? No, it's never. It's so close. Crap. Okay, we give. We're gonna go to the tire shop, see if they've got something used, because turns out I don't have the right rim. I mean, all the stuff I've laying around, I don't have the right one. So, I need to buy more junk to lay around the yard. More parts cars? Exactly. <laughs> Can't miss with this. <laughs> it's the wheel that came off of her. <sighs> with a fresh $45 used tire from a local tire shop. Yep. Look at that, it fits. Look at that. Heck yeah. That'll work, dog. That'll work. That'll do, pig. That'll do, pig. One of them straight. It's good enough. <laughs> what? You said one of them straight. Well, what do you mean? Well, we didn't set the alignment or anything. Oh. <laughs> I thought you meant like something had come disconnected or something. No. Oh no. Cool. <laughs> Nicely done, sir. Thank you. Hey. So we have this door wired shut. We cannot remember if it actually has bolts in the hinges or if it just didn't have a latch to keep it shut. Let's see if it falls off right now. It shouldn't fall off. Oh. You mean it just sat here the whole time? Aaron, it's not even bolted on. What do we do with it? Take it off. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Dang it. I'll put it over here with a pile of parts, I guess. Should I like lay it over the engine bay or something? Where it's in the place with the car? Oh my gosh. So then the seat's not bolted down. You can go ahead and move that so you can sit in there. Yeah. I was gonna try and... Can get something to sit on with that. <laughs> Maybe some cardboard or something. Now it's time to move Dot Zen. She's been way too long on this lift with the 300 underneath her. It's time for her to uh, get a little fresh air. She's gonna be underneath the 57 so that we have access to drive it a little bit now. 
the rear end on this car wants to whine and make noises so we haven't driven it much but we need to get it back in the mix like her tires are low and we wouldn't have run into this but these tires are a little low and it's like the tiniest little bit of clearance on that um, bolt for the transmission cross member down in there it's hard to see for y'all but that's what I'm looking at okay go try that again babe That's your first car, Aaron. I know it. She's your girl. Mm-hmm. Yep. She right. argues with me a lot, but... She does. <laughs> She's a little persnickety, I put up with it. We'll get our kinks worked out. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Looks like it's ready for a 57 Chevy. I think so. I'm ready. <laughs> If you are unfamiliar with this build, this is our 78 Datsun 280Z. And she is our sweet, sweet, sweet little LS swapped honeymoon build. We actually dated in this car. And uh, we have a full playlist of videos on it if you want to check it out. If you like that kind of stuff. And we have it on a shirt. Yeah. You can get on blindsparksgarage.com. <laughs> it's true. It's true. We did some cool things with this build. We did 180 degree headers, so it doesn't sound like a normal LS, and we really like that. So. And it's got She's the sweet. ITBs on it, yep. sticking out the hood, yep. like, you want to race? You want to race? Yep. All right, here we go. Time to pull it in. On this road, bird was meant to fly. actually really pretty centered. I did a decent job. This is huge. I'm so excited about this. This is the start of something incredible. We've never done like a really great restoration and and you know this is probably going to take us a lot of time but it's going to be amazing. Oh my gosh. Look Aaron. Yeah. She's so excited. Yes. What did you find when you first opened the deck lid? Oh, here's the steering components. <laughs> All the stuff that I went and bought. <laughs> Whole thing's under there. That's so freaking funny. Uh, I still didn't have the nuts or the cotter pins or any of that junk, so whatever. We got a lot of parts got glass, for this car, actually. Window regulators. This is handles, door handles, stuff like that. Door cards. Chrome and more chrome. Trim. 
I wish the car was still this color. <laughs> oh, but just so happy with her. Yes. Yes. There's almost no rust in this car, so that makes it very exciting. That's true. Mm. Trying to figure out if we got cool paint underneath this primer. Well, that's just metal there. The first part of getting a project started is just to start. That's what you're seeing today. We got it in the shop, at least now we can get our hands on it. If I've got a little spare time, I can just jump over there and work on it. But we don't know what to do with it. We have these ideas. They're like definitely Roadster shop chassis. We definitely need perfect paint on it because it's two door 57. And then we go back to the reality of, we're trying to build a house right now. Totally remodeling our house with cash as we can come up with it. So do we just decide this is gonna be a three year project to make it perfect? Or do we put an engine in it, get it running? This old engine's locked up intake's been off for years there's sand in it and all kinds of nasty stuff we know the transmission isn't going to work so do we compromise and just get the thing running and maybe do some fun experimental like airbrushing on these front fenders to make it match what do we do what do you guys want to see if this were your car and you just pulled it into the shop like we did what would be your first action point like what would be your plan with her we feel like it's such a nice car that our our dream was to do our first really nice restoration which you know when you're a diyer and you're in your own shop really nice is to a certain standard, not like incredible, but when we think about the next few years of our life, do we want to dedicate this car to having that sort of result? Or do we want to have it be like just a fun driver where we just start putting it together and enjoy it for kind of like a rat rod sort of style of nice parts, but not a perfect and, restoration. And this will be in phases. So the car is definitely getting done nice. It's just a matter of timeline. We're at a juncture in our life where we're out of space. This shop is tiny. So if I go put two, three months of hard labor into this to paint it, I don't even have a place to put it. So it's, it's almost like get it running now so we can move it in and out of the shop and leave the paint like it is because we really need to be building buildings. Like we need another shop, we need a garage for our nice cars, the stuff we drive every day, and then we need like a storage area to store some of these projects. So it's either like start selling cars or put some structures up so that we can keep the cars we have, which we really want to do. So I don't know. With all that considered, what do you guys think? The car is really straight. It doesn't have much rust. There's only a few places on the car with a little bit of rust. And so what would you do? Put a used engine in it? Do a new engine, do the full build. Let us know, we're really curious. Overall though, we're so excited to have it in the shop now. Uh, the three builds that we are started on this year are our 300 ZX twin turbo. We're gonna start again on our OBS with a bunch of Banks parts and get that power stroke singing and start working on this. And that'll be kind of a kickoff year for us. We're so excited because it's like those three vehicles are so different and have such different applications, but we all love them and we're all excited to see them back on the road. So we're just thankful y'all are here with us, enjoying the process and learning as we go. We're just really grateful for everything we have right now, each other, all the stuff that we get to work on and having you guys in our lives to encourage us and support us and give us constructive criticism along the way. We just have a lot to be thankful for. So thank you all so much. And we can't wait to see you on the next episode. If you're looking forward to the boat footage, the big boat, yeah, we got to fix the OBS Ford first. Also, if we're going to work on the big trailer, we have to get that truck fixed. So that's why that one's early in line in the year. So we can move stuff around. We've been kind of handicapped without it. Lots to look forward to. We'll see y'all soon.